Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today we're going to see the difference between return and print in Python. We're going to see these two examples. We have this function with return and we also have the same function but now we're using print. So let's see why they are different and when you should use them. First, let's write our function in our Python file. We're going to start with return. Return is a statement. When you write return, the value next to it will be returned when this line is reached. So if you want to return the value whenever you call the function, you should use return. For example, if I want to add two numbers, x and y, I'm going to return their sum from the function. In order to use it in the program, I need a way to store it. So I will return it and I will store it or assign it to a variable. I call the function add and I pass my arguments. Let's say three and five. The result should be eight. Let's run the code and see what I mean. First, we're going to print the variable result to check its value. We save the file, we open the terminal, and then we run our program with Python and then the name of the file, program.py. Like you can see right here, the result is 8. You can think of it as if this function call right here is just replaced by that value behind the scenes when the code runs. You will not actually see it, but that's basically what will happen, and the value returned will be assigned to the variable. Like this, the variable acts like a container you can also use that value without assigning it to a variable directly in the program where you call the function. Okay, so now let's see what happens when you just write print. You call the print function instead of returning the value. Let's make this modification. Right now we don't have any return statements inside our function. We are just printing the result of adding x and y. Let's see what this does to our code. We're still calling the function with the arguments 3 and 5, and we're assigning the value returned by that function call to the variable result, and we're printing it. Let's run our code. If you press the up arrow, you will be able to use the last command that you use in the terminal, this one right here. So that is a helpful shortcut in Visual Studio Code. Then press enter. And now you will see a slight difference. Just wait for the program to run, and now you will see this difference in the output. We used to see the number 8 as the output, but now we see the number 8 and none. Let's see why we get two values instead of one right now. Remember, we see 8 followed by none. Why do we get this? Well, we are adding 3 and 5, x and y, and we're printing that value, which results in the value 8. That is the first number we see in the output. But then we see the value none, and that corresponds to this print statement that we have right here. This is printing none. Why? Because when we're calling the function right here, now we don't have a return statement. And by default, when you call a Python function that doesn't have a return statement, the value returned will be none. So that value is assigned to this variable, and that is what we are printing right here. We shouldn't assign that result or that value to a variable. We will just call the function directly or use it directly in our program instead of trying to assign the value. In this case, it would be enough to just call the function. Let's run the code again and see the output. Again, the up arrow, and now we see the value 8 because we're just calling the function and printing the value. Awesome, right? Now you know the difference between return and print. Remember, when you use return, you can assign that value to a variable or use that value in the program when you call the function. But if you just call print, you will see that value in the output. And if you try to assign it to a variable, you will only see the value none, because no value will be returned. 